So auto retrieve, we've mentioned a couple times, this is one of the stop gaps that we're putting in place uh, so that in the short term, we can make content that's in Filecoin accessible to IPFS, to gateways, uh, and just more generally um, bridge some of the protocol uh, gaps that we've got at the moment. It also serves a secondary purpose, which is it gives us a lot more view into the state of retrievals uh, and lets us uh, work with data programs uh, to, to sort of help uh, set up the right incentives to encourage storage providers to ramp up on their retrieval bandwidth and their infrastructure so that they can serve the amounts of retrievals that we're expecting to keep growing. So this is running. Uh, it, we've, we've recently switched it to a Kubernetes deployment that we can keep running pretty stably. Um, we're working through some ongoing resource management uh, stuff so that uh, it not only is running, but also serving at high quality. You can see some gaps in the success failure rate where it runs out of memory currently. Um, all this work is thanks to Elijah on the outer core team and Kyle on the bedrock team. But more generally, what this is going to mean is that when you go to IPFS.io, uh, what will happen is that will uh, go back to the big IPFS node that is that gateway. It will be peered. And so it's bit swap requests. We'll talk to its peers. And one of the peers will be this auto retrieve node, which looks like an IPFS node um, that is just sort of in the IPFS network. Um, right now, uh, you need to be peered. Um, the, the, what that means is it's serving currently um, IPFS nodes that are in the DHT server uh, ring because it automatically connects to them. Um, but if you're another IPFS client, you're not getting the full benefit quite yet because you won't necessarily be connected. Those bits of requests um, will then be seen by auto retrieve who will ask the store the index indexing node for those SIDs. When those SIDs are found from a storage provider uh, on Filecoin, it will then make a graph sync request to pull that content locally into its own cache. And then we'll say that it has those blocks um, and be able to respond to them over bits one. Uh, so it acts like a block cache. It keeps a, a relatively large um, order of tens to hundreds of gigs of blocks that it knows about uh, in cache that it's pulled from storage providers. Um, but the thought is that these are transient. We can eventually have them running in the same regions as gateway instances uh, and just generally use this as a short term over the next month's uh, way to bridge uh, until we get some vertical upgrades. Uh, I will leave it there. Uh, there's an auto-retrieve channel in Falcon Slack.